Hi guys, what's going on? It's Wednesday, April 19th. Just one more to do here at Six Flags over Texas and talk about a buzzkill. Guess what? It's another Batman the Ride. We've done the one, we did Vampire. That was the only one not called Batman the Ride of the Ron. We did the one at Great America. We did the one at Magic Mountain. Now we're doing the one at Over Texas. I haven't even done the one closest to me at Great Adventure. <laughs> I told you these are all over the place. The stats, honestly, do I have them in my head right now? I don't. Watch my other reviews of Batman the Rides. I'll give you the stats there. Uh, Jen's gonna join me for the review. I guess I'm excited. These are becoming like boomerangs to me now. They're just, there's so many and they're good. We'll see how this one rides. But anyway, we gotta do 365. And it did get stuck in the lift hill. It gets stuck in the lift hill. Well, let's go ride. Alright Jen, what are we about to ride? Yeehaw Talon! Yeehaw Talon. Alright, that was another Batman in the ride for me. For Jen, that was your only one besides Great Adventure, right? Yeah, that was my only one besides Great Adventure. And what were your thoughts on this one? I don't like it. There was one spot where the rattle was so bad, which like, I hate to be that person that's like, it's so rattly. There was one spot that like, my ears hit the restraints so bad I was in pain. I was like, holding my head for the rest of the time. Yeah, Yeehaw Talon. Um, <laughs> yeehaw Talon, Yeehaw! <laughs> it was one of the more forceful Batmans that I've been on. Definitely the roughest. Yeah, it, it was, was not smooth at all. Rough. Especially. I, yeah. You want to give a score? I know you don't like scoring. Ah, uh, less than Talon. Less than Talon. Like, way less than Talon. Way less yeah. than Talon. I don't know how anyone yeah. puts a Batman clone <laughs> over Talon, you imbeciles. <laughs> because it was. What a walk off. I <laughs> Because uh, it was more forceful, it was rough. Ah, oh, man, I, I, I'll be honest, I don't have on me what I gave the other Batmans. I'm assuming most of them are in the sixes. I think I gave Vampire over a seven. That's a six point two zero. It was rough, it was rough, but really forceful. So I still ride it. I still had a semi good time. I don't know, 6.20. Yeehaw. <laughs> all right, all, that is it from Six Flags over Texas. Overall thought, overall thoughts, I had a great time. It is definitely, uh, I think, one of my least favorite Six Flags parks. The layout is just wild. Some very good roller coasters. New Texas Giants, great. Mr. Fe Mr. Freeze is awesome. Shockwave is my favorite. I wouldn't say there's anything like, yep, I gotta come back here. I cannot wait to get back here to ride a certain roller coaster. There just isn't. Um, and it's not, even the lineup comparison to Great America, not as good. I had a good time. Ops were fine on the rides, honestly. Um, welcomed by some great guests. Huge shout out to Mike from the Drunk Riders. He was shuttling us all over Texas and Oklahoma for both of these parks. So Mike, you are the man. Jen, the best. Quickly has quickly become one of my best friends. Forget the, commu forget the community, just period. I absolutely love Jen. She will be in many, many videos this year. Guarantee that. Uh, and then Chris and Natalie as well. Thank you for joining in the Shockwave review. Um, great time, great time. Uh, next park, we're gonna stay in the south. Let's try not to get hit by the train. We're gonna stay in the south. Catch you then, like, comment, subscribe. Love you all. Three and a half months down, eight and a half to go. Let's keep it going.